I never know what I'm going to say when I hit that button, right? To record. But it's a beautiful day in New York. It's maybe 50 degrees, very foggy, early in the morning. And, um, I, guess, I guess what I want to talk about is uh, uh, peace, peace from within. I know what you're thinking, oh, it's Conti's fucking, he's gonna start talking about his, let's talk about his Buddhist stuff and his meditation. But I just wanna, you know, I think that, um, in order to create peace, uh, the peace we wanna see in the world, the fact that, that our political system has been corrupted, that our judicial system has been corrupted, that even the, the medical profession has been greatly corrupted, that the, the peace that we're trying to see in those organizations are actually within our grasp and within. Let's say hello to the tulips. Hello, tulips. The tulips, beautiful. Beautiful flower. You know, you think to yourself, what am I talking about? So, peace within. So I'll tell you about me, right? What am I doing today? Today is, it's early in the morning and, and I'm, I'm taking care of myself today, right? I don't need a doctor to tell me to take care of myself. Right? So I ran, this morning I woke up, first I woke up, and then I, um, I, I have a very healthy uh, shake. You know, for the record, I'm 54 years old. I'm not on any medications. I'm not on any pills. I'm, I'm, I, you know, ideal body weight, height, mentally clear, right? So I have this, uh, this wonderful, uh, shake, fruits and vegetables today. I, I buy whatever's at the grocery store today. I had strawberries, a whole box of strawberries, right? And, uh, ginger. I throw ginger in there, organic orange banana, maybe some greens, I think I had arugula this morning, whatever I put in there, some nuts, put in, the, put in a blender, soy milk, drink it down, right? delicious, and um, oh, espresso, I drink espresso, a little, a little espresso. I'm feeling good. It's seven. It's eight o'clock in the morning, and I'm, it's already eight eight a.m. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling clear. But now the best part is coming. I have to go out and exercise because if if we don't move, if you don't move the body, if you don't exercise, then the mind starts to cloud. Like it's a foggy day right now. You know, it's you know on earth as it is in heaven. I I believe in that stuff. I believe that. I believe in, um, you know, I learned in, in, in uh, meditation, studying with the Tibetans and studying the, the Buddha teaching of mindfulness, Vipassana, the cosmic mirror, meaning that what we, <clears throat> what we see outwardly is, a, is, is actually a reflection of what we're seeing inwardly. So the reason that we're seeing such corruption and such confusion in the world is that we as people have become corrupt and confused. Now, don't misconstrue that for, for, for me saying that you should work harder and you should do more and you should do better because that's the, that's the actual lie, right? It's the opposite of that, that we should do less, that we should stop and smell the tulips and, and, in, and, in, and, in, and enjoy ourselves. Right? I hope that makes sense. I know it's very... Look, we have people... People don't even know if they're sick anymore. Right? They go to the... They need to, they need to go to a doctor to tell them that they're not crazy. Right? That they... And then if they go enough times, they'll get a mental illness diagnosis. And then they're on medications. And then the ph big pharma loves that. See, it's a, it's a business. Right. The medical profession is a business now. It's just as corrupt as the judicial. Right. See that that's the that's the thing about the current current state of affairs is that 
is that all the systems are broken, and we know it, right? The Clinton Foundation, right? We saw how the top end of the Democratic Party uh, say hello to this dog. Can I say hello to your dog? Hello. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <laughs> the big bulldog. How are you? Man, I'm making a, a YouTube video. I don't want you to think I'm a crazy person. Say hello to the bulldog. So, again, we saw the... the we, we know this stuff, right? See, I don't want to... That's why I prefer to, to work outside, away from the internet. So that I'm not just repeating everything that I see and everything that other people see. That I see what they see and then I, I reflect on it in my own way. But we, we already see that the, there's no more discovery, right? Discovery is over. Right? In court, there's a process called discovery where you discover the facts, right? And then that that's admitted, that's evidence into the record, right? But we don't have that. That process has broken down completely, right? Because the courts have, have been researched, right? But in terms of our discovery, in terms of our politics, discovery is is already on the record, in the public record. And the people that are caught have been caught breaking these laws and, and, and in, in, in the eye of overwhelming evidence are now trying to unwind it. And how do they do that? They create distractions like Russia, false flags, you know, crises actors, fake narratives, right? They also, you know, the idea that Sitting around, again, sitting around waiting. Everybody wants to see Hillary Clinton in orange jumpsuit and handcuffs, or maybe even worse, get a head chopped off for treason. Are they treasonous? Do, do they deserve all that? Yes, they do. Because Comey, McCabe, these guys, high placed officials inside of these agencies, the FBI, maybe Pompeo too, in the CIA, it's not, it's, it's impossible to think that they don't, they didn't know about the corruption, but that's not. That's not the, that's not, that's the highest end of the corruption. And that's why you won't see prosecution because all the, the whole judicial system is not looking at evidence anymore. They're not looking at the facts. They're looking at political correctness, right? So that becomes prosecutorial misconduct. That they're not looking at the facts. They're looking at who's donating to their campaigns and, and, and all that. So the judicial system is deeply compromised. And then you'll see an example. How, to, how why it, how does it stay in place? Because every once in a while they'll throw somebody under the bus. Like that, that, uh, congresswoman, one of the, I don't even know, Camilla, Camilla something. The, 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 the congresswoman down in Florida who was caught with a fake foundation. That she didn't do the paperwork correctly and they threw her in jail for 20 months or something. Or you'll get a, a case where, with Anthony Weiner, right? Comprom compromising. People are fearful because the judicial system and the judges have broken so many laws and, and, and bent their discretion so badly. And the politicians have bent their discretion so badly where they're voting... They're voting against 90% of their... 90% their of their constituents are saying one thing and they're voting the other way in office. So there's, there's this massive, massive level of misconduct across the board. So, what, so why am I telling you about my diet and my exercise and, and my, my personal state of mind? Because the only reason I understand that stuff I just talked about is because I, I, I understand myself and I don't need, I don't, like I went to a doctor, I'll give you a funny story, a funny anecdote, go to a doctor and, you know, you tell them about your history, your family history or whatever, but you tell them, and they write all this stuff down and then they try to make a diagnosis based on what you tell them. Not everything that you tell them. I told this particular doctor that I was, you know, vegan, that I, that I exercise, that I'm, I'm in my 50s, no medications, blood pressure is normal, I meditate, 
That's a big one. Tiknan Han. Vipassana. Eckhart Tolle. Throw those names out there for you to find out about. And his 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 diagnosis was that oh you have to have a col col colonoscopy. This doctor wants to stick a fucking two foot tube up my ass to find out if there's any problems up there. All my problems are up my ass. Because of age. Now when you when you look when you you try to figure out why is he saying that? Why is he saying that? Is there any risk the, the risk of colon colon cancer is very small anyway. It's bullshit, right? Or or the the last one was um I think one in a hundred and sixty thousand men one in a hundred and sixty thousand men will get prostate cancer. But they have every they had everybody and their father getting the fucking the, the prostate test, right? So now it's the colonoscopy test test. Why? Because some administration somewhere Right, said that they'll fund this thing. Right, they'll fund it. They'll fund colonoscopy screening. So doctors can recommend their clients for colonoscopy, and the cost of that thing is like six thousand dollars. Right, you don't pay it because it's covered under insurance. But whoever they're referring it to is making six thousand dollars. Right, and that doctor gets a kickback. See, it's a business that we've been we've been so so usurped, so so um, corrupted in in the in this way that again it's about the money is what what corrupts, and it's not just it's not just the politics it's not just the politicians it's the whole system that that we don't we don't know our own health anymore that we. That, that we can't stand in a park in, in, in the morning and say everything's okay. I'm 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 good. I'm working on my health. I'm 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 exercising. I'm I'm running. I'm eating well. I'm going to meditate. I'm I'm relaxing today. I'm taking I'm taking time. Even if the world falls apart, I'm going to center myself because it's so important. So that. Because my strength is my clarity. My strength is not some lawyer who tells me, "Oh, your 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 legal situation is fine," or my, a doctor telling me, "Oh, this this little number on a piece of paper is telling me that you're fine," or you know, or you or you know, people don't even all it people are in in this in this place where they're so overworked and so fearful, right? That that the the culture in America has broken down to nothing. Like there's no more, there's really no more arts or music. It's very obscure and there's no more people in the parks talking, communicating. I'm not saying that history doesn't repeat itself like people think it does. It's, the, the elements are always changing, but I like, so... A revolution is not going to look like the 60s, but it's going to be a, a, a cultural revolution of sorts. Why is this car driving in there? See a cardinal? What's that? There's a cardinal around here. Oh, yeah? He's usually down by the baseball field every morning. Can I bring you into my frame? I'm, uh, it's a YouTube video. You okay? Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> Why are you driving in the park for? You, what, are you working? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're working. Oh, guy. It's a car driving in the park. A cardinal? Yeah, I saw them. One flew in my window. I'll, t I'll, I'll, be, I'll look for it. I'm making a video right now. It's news. Thank you. See, even in a park, right? There's, maybe you can see the car going by. He didn't want me to film him. There's the police, you know? Driving through the park. There's a weird guy talking to himself. Huh? Who the fuck knows why? There's a sickness, right? It's, it's, we're living in a, in a sick society, right? Sick people, and then it, it it stems outward, up all the way to the top, where the lies are so convoluted, right? See, we all believe. I, I believe that the right and the left have merged. The far left and the far right have merged. And I'm going to get to the solution in a second. I know I'm going over, but that's just the way it's got to be today. That 
that um, the left and the right have merged in the sense that we all agree that the corruption is so foul and so unacceptable that that the money grabbing is 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 off the cuff. But here's where we disagree, and I, I because I'm not on left or right. So talking about his dog. Here's where we disagree. That. I don't consider myself left or right or any of those things. I'm, I'm in, I I like to think that of myself as being in the middle somewhere. But, see, the left is under the impression that drain that swamp, right? It's a nice idea and it has to be done. But if you if you weed out the corruption, even if you throw the Comeys and the, and the Clintons and the, and the McCabes and the, you know, and all these, all these bad actors, all these politicians, you know, Throw Pelosi in jail, you know, taking all that money. Barney Frank, go up to Connecticut and lock his ass up. Right? So even if you even if you did all that, or, or Lloyd Blankfein or Jamie Price, all the the, the, the guys the, the guys that wrecked the banking industry at Goldman Sachs, Henry Paulson, George Bush, right? It, you could you could lock everybody up, right? But you're not gonna you're not gonna solve the greater problem, which is greed, which is a a a deeply corrupt political system, right? So here's the solution, right? The solution, it, it has to... See, there has, see the, the media is just going to keep trying to confuse people, right? That's, that's the way... If you can't, See, if everybody... I said yesterday in the video that if... That the oligarchy and the power structure at the top is way more fragile than people understand it to be. It's very fragile. And when a collective, the most dangerous enemy of an oligarchy is when the collective, collective ideas, people like us, come together and understand and that, that grows. Like in the Bernie Sanders swell. You saw millions of people swell because they knew that they suddenly saw the truth. Some for the first time. Like they, they started to understand how corrupt Wall Street was. That even that the that the military industrial complex, like they were learning that word, that, that phrase for the first time. Or how the how the banking system is is, is deeply broken and and corrupt. How the politicians side with donors. Like we started to see all that stuff, right? So unless there's a what I'm trying to say is and I'm gonna wrap this up, is that the solution lies within. When we start to turn the cosmic mirror around and look at ourselves and take care of ourselves, right, then we, we, we enter a place where we can then help others. Right? So all those problems I talked about are, are solvable in terms of policy. Right? Turn off the TV set. Meditate 30 minutes a day, 15, 20, 30 minutes a day. Eat well. You must exercise. No junk food. Throw it out. Become a vegetarian if you can. The animals are deeply co polluted with all kinds of hormones. Don't, don't do that to yourself. And don't do it to the, to the planet and to the animals themselves. Make that self-awareness, that self-conversion. If you're overweight, lose it. If you're if you're on medications, wean wean yourself off of them. Don't take drugs. Don't drink. Don't smoke. Right? You have to stay healthy, right? That's number one, right? And then we go for universal health care. Why? Because, as I said, the medical profession is deeply corrupted because of the money and how those monies are allocated. It's not about individual health anymore. So when you have single payer free single-payer universal health care, you then eliminate a lot of those health problems and you have a healthier a healthier people, right? College tuition, free college tuition at city and state universities. You don't have people strapped in debt anymore. Right? You have an educated populace. But people don't have time for that shit because they got to work, 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 and they're in debt. <laughs> they keep moving. So you gotta you gotta raise the corporate tax rate eighty to eighty percent. 
You have to you have to jack that up. You have to you have to squeeze the oligarchy and make them pay their fair share of taxes. See, the money is there. There's no there's no doubt about it. Universal health care is not more expensive. It's less expensive because it it it, it creates a healthier a healthier populace, a healthier people, right? And it cuts out the middleman between, and people start to take responsibility for their own health again. Prevention, you remember that in the 80s, the whole movement? Oh yeah, we're going to prevent all this disease and th there's no, there's no money in prevention. There's money in disease. I'm going to go this way. <laughs> trying to stay out of the wind. All right? So you, you have to, you have to reduce the military spending by 80%. So that the military industrial complex stops creating counterinsurgency wars and, and tries to expand the, the oligarchy tries to expand itself into other markets. We don't need that. It doesn't help because as our co corporations top out, so capitalism is topping out. Now it's oligarchy, right? That's what's happening. It's not democracy that's topping out. Democracy, democracy as a, as an idea, as a concept, is still very valid. The American flag and the principles of the founding fathers is still very valid. It's that oligarchy, it, that, that system of democracy works against the oligarchy. Because 1% of the population controls the other 99%. And democracy says that all people are created equal. Of the people, a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. So to, to, to drive that down, you, you must, you must, you must come together and stop having, stop being divided on race, on, on social status, competing with one another. The other thing is if people knew, I said yesterday that if people knew how corrupt the banking system was, that, that, a, that a revolution would come, come about in a matter of minutes. If people knew how well the wealthy live, like just how the utopian, like the three or four million people in America at the top and the other globalists around the world, maybe, if, you know, maybe 10, 15, 20 million people in total, how they live in this utopian society of, you know, jets and, 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 they send their children to the best schools, not for the best education, but they send their children to the best schools to meet other children of wealth and influence. And then the bondings occur, and, and they're not there for grades, but they're there for leisure time, you know, activity and mingling and tumbling right? The vacations, the, 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 the three homes and the five homes and the six cars, and the maids and the gourmet food and the, the jets and the if people knew how these how these folks lived, right? That would bring about the revolution as well. But they, they they're in fenced communities now, right? Trying to trying not trying not to let you see that. I'm I'm, I'm up around twenty minutes here, so I'm gonna wrap it up. But the policy that's why I'm running for the United States Senate. I believe that's possible. I feel that what I'm saying is out front, right? I'm not, I'm not, there's no formula to running for the Senate, right? There's no, there's no formula, but we have to get, we have to get our people, our view inside of the power structure, the Senate, the Congress. We have to get those people out and we have to set term limits, right? And then from there, it's fairly easy. Universal health care, college tuition, squash the debt, increase the corporate tax rate, reduce individual tax. It's not very, it's not really necessary. Bring law and order back to the judicial, where judges actually can decide on the facts and not the political pressure that they're receiving. Where people have, where there's, where there's a cultural revolution and an, a, a economic boom from the bottom, not, not at the top where all the money leaks out, but where people actually have money to create a business or to, to, to buy and sell or to, like the old days, make America great again? Is that what Trump was talking about? 
America was like that, you know. When I, certainly when I was a kid, where you weren't, you didn't work too hard. Money was available. You could you could take time off. You could take a trip. You can get your car and drive a few days. The the pressure now on the new millennials is just it's devastating. I mean, it's just it's and 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 you have a you have a a a corrupt media that is is just instilling fear, 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 Russia, fucking bombs and, you know, North Korea. It's all, it's all fucking bullshit. So my name is Marcus Conti. I hope that was helpful. I feel inspired today. And uh, I'm running for the United States Senate. I don't know what that looks like going forward. But the election is in November November 6, 2018. Peace out.